Today, we're gonna take a look at Agent GPT. And what this allows you to do is deploy autonomous AI agents in your browser. Now you're probably thinking, what does that even mean? Well, essentially, if you are familiar with ChatGPT or you're completely new to the AI space, you can essentially type in any question and it'll continuously look for answers and add on additional details without you having to manually ask it a different question. So for example, what you could do is say, plan a trip to Hawaii, which they have shown right here. And it'll go ahead and do step one, two, three, four to infinity. Now there are some caveats and some limiting things. The first thing is you have a free option, which currently has a cap. So if you want to have it create a full on business to generate X income, it can only do it to a certain amount until the API gets stopped. And that is currently the free version. And let's go ahead and actually test that out for ourselves. So the first thing is, let's go ahead and create a name. And for this particular question, let's just go and find a way to generate income utilizing AI. And in particular, let's focus on a business that is strictly online so that maybe this could actually give you guys some ideas if you were to create something similar. So look at how this uh, AI GPT. And now let's go ahead and come up with our goal. And I'll say, build a business that only requires an internet connection and a computer. Focus the topic around using AI and generate, oh, let's put in be able to generate and let's put a reasonable amount let's just say five thousand dollars per month or more and now i'm going to head and press deploy agents and it's going to do its magic and the thing is if we go here to settings really quick right now this is obviously the free version but if you do have access to gpt4 which you could actually end up here you could go ahead and update this. But right now you do have to put your API key, which I do have access, which I can add to later. And then you can change that to GPT-4 if you have access to. But I'm gonna keep it on 3.5 because GPT-4 currently only does 25 messages every three hours. So I think based off of the actual idea of Agent GPT, that would run through that fairly quickly. So let's just focus on GPT-3.5 and this is currently the free version. So let's go with deploy agent. And now let's see. So here is the goal. And what it's gonna do is start thinking and hopefully if it doesn't take more than 30 seconds, then we should be fine. But if it does, we'll have to restart. And again, this is the beta version. And we can see here, take a look at this. So what it's doing right now is showing us right here the task and then it sort of has it on the side as well. So let's go ahead and see what we got so far. And I actually wanna see how long this is gonna go. And here we go. So now we have this highlighted in green. And currently it says, conduct market research to identify potential niche for AI-based businesses. And essentially it says the requirements which I added, which was the internet connection and a computer. And then we can see develop a business plan that outlines the features and essentially we can see here typical ideas if you ever want to start your own business it sounds like same processes and now we can see it's creating another prompt right here and it says effective marketing and sales strategy and we can see here focuses on digital social media essentially and even says yep here's social media leveraging and now potential ai tools so here's where it starts to get uh more detailed and ideally, if you were to ask somebody who continues or essentially is involved in AI space, they might give you a, I'd say, simple rough draft that sounds similar to this. However, the thing is, if we just let this run for infinity, and obviously that is some caveats too, but uh, for example, I was mentioning earlier, this is a demo, so it pauses you and doesn't let you run it any longer unless you add an API key. And then also, 
it's still on the 3.5 but just note that if you do actually use your api key you do have to set your limits on open ai so that you do doesn't spend a billion dollars so obviously that would take a long time to so have to run for multiple hours for that to start to rack up some sort of substantial amount but if you're gonna do this for you know a couple messages i don't think it's that big of a deal but do make sure you know that that's very important to set usage limits on open ai before you just sit here and let this run forever because you could literally end up spending an absurd amount of money but for now let's first off let's just take a look at what it has so far so basically those things seems like we have three four yeah so four sections are highlighted and now what i want to do is actually have this continuously run so what i'm going to do is go ahead and create or add my OpenAI api key and then we can continue on with this so here i'm on OpenAI my dashboard and in order to access this you might be confused you have to go to platform.openai.com and then you can go ahead and check out your profile and essentially go over to the billing section overview and click on usage limits now currently right now the maximum usage OpenAI allows for your organization at least for mine is 120 dollars so that sounds like might be a lot might not be a lot but essentially that would be an insane amount of usage for me to actually get to this point and again this is where you can update your limits so if you aren't comfortable spending more than like five bucks ten bucks i'm sure you can go ahead and check this out but just keep that in mind you have to request an increase if you want to add this and also you can view your uh, usage as well and every time i use this for multiple hours it never went up a couple of cents so again, to reach 100 plus, that's a lot of data actually. And then simply go over here to your API keys and then create an API key. So go here and then go and create a new secret key. And then what you need to do is name this, let's say AI GPT and create a secret key. And now do note, do not share this with anyone because then they could use your API and then next you know it, you could get charged for them. So all you need to do is simply just copy that in and then go back over to agent GPT, go here to settings, paste in your key, and then simply go ahead and change the model. So I do have access to GPT-4, but we're gonna keep it like that. And they do have different modes, so automatic mode and pause mode. But let's go ahead and save this, and then I'm gonna deploy the agent now, and let's see what it does. So I think it now it's going to restart and come up with a new idea, or essentially, reset from the beginning stages and now we can see it's starting to go ahead actually look it's putting back in similar responses and now we just simply sit back and relax and just note if you want to save or stop this i should say you simply hit stop and then it'll go ahead and pause its usage so right now again let's just confirm research makes sense and then the next highlight business plan implement the business plan doing some sort of website and it looks like payment hiring outsourcing we have develop list of clients so that's actually interesting so it looks like this one's targeting at least for this based off this prompt it's targeting people that potentially could uh give you some money for your business so it's very different from some other ideas i've even considered myself and let's see partnerships okay so see here, this is already quite helpful because it's coming up with ideas and giving you new information that either you probably already known or you just never even heard of. And this is again, this is using 3.5. So I think once GPT-4 or even whatever next version they come out with gives a higher limit, because right now 25 messages on GPT-4 every three hours, it's, it's really hard to do any sort of autonomous thing like this. And I think what we'll do is we'll keep it going. Okay, so we got marketing strategy, implement system, feedback, okay. Uses data. And let's just continue this and see how long or essentially what it comes up with. Because I think the main thing I want to see is when does it start to showcase the actual revenue per month, or at least the one I listed. Or if that's even something I'll even uh, focus on. Because 5000 per month of any business that's particularly online is a great fee already. And that's essentially, for most people, that's you'll be set. You could do pretty much whatever you want in your life and do whatever you want to while it's all on your computer. 
and depending on where you're from that could be an absurd amount of money as well so here we can see and also you could change this you can put 10k 50k 100 000, whatever amount you wanted to ask it for and then test this out and so far we have let's see one two three four five six seven and here's eight so let's let's stop it maybe let's probably go i'll try i want to go at least past 10 plus maybe 15 to 20 and i just want to see the difference and the details and again this is i haven't used this often but basically this is such a crazy innovation in the ai space right now we're seeing and the more advanced it gets the more detailed the prompt uh the more detailed the responses are going to be next thing you know it's going to tell you exactly you know where to go where to click all this stuff but again i think we're a couple of months maybe years from that level but who knows yet and let's continue okay so this this is something i would never even considered a chatbot for customer supports for the ai business which i mean ai chatbot is technically chatbots are probably usually by ai but usually they're trained on uh depending on your business and what type of responses you have like amazon's chatbot is incredible and then go here implement targeting marketing okay so now we're talking about marketing and it's telling us to use machine learning algorithms so i don't even know how to utilize ml with that to def def identify that but i think let's see go here development and referral program okay so now see this is where it starts to get really creative you now have it utilizing other people and see for ai business machine learning to track yeah so ml that's impressive. I'm gonna have to figure out what uh, algorithms or where to even find somebody to create something based off of that. And who knows, I can ask Agent GPT that myself. AI powered recommendation engine. We've only an AI powered recommendation engine that provides personal product recommendations to customers based on behavior. Okay, so now this is starting to becoming significantly more advanced than what I was even considering for a simple business. And then implement air travel on website to provide customer support. So I think maybe I should have asked to prompt something specifically because it might have been more accurate and detailed. This is giving me some more generalization stuff, but um, now it's talking about marketing campaigns. And okay, I think we got enough here. So basically I'll go to the bottom using analyze customer here. So it looks like I'm starting to say stuff that looks almost like it repeated. But anyways, you can save this to your computer or you can go to export this and go to PDF. So I'm gonna export that PDF and let's open this up. And look at this, so far the PDF did not, <laughs> okay, what happened here? Let's see, let's try this again. Let's see if this fixes it. If it doesn't, then, well, so normally it's supposed to write it out and have it perfectly written out, but I guess since I have too many lines, it doesn't, so let's just save this. And maybe let's see, go ahead and try image, see what happens. Go here. Okay, yeah, so I don't know if you can see what's going on, but basically I have to zoom in now like crazy. The image looks like it worked for my prompt. For the PDF, I think the, I wrote way too many things. But basically you can see here we have this uh, image and then pretty much it just literally screenshots everything, which I think this right here is pretty impressive and shows exactly what you have to do. And then that's pretty much Agent GPT. So now if you want to, again, this is the most important thing is if you don't want it to continue running or in case you're scared somebody's gonna you know, take your key or whatever, all you need to do is go back to OpenAI and just simply click here and revoke the key. And then you go ahead and revoke the key and boom, now that key is deleted and no one can use it and hence even if they were to see your key on here it's it's useless now so you essentially won't have to worry about that so that is agent gpt share your thoughts in the comments below and if you want to see the latest and updates in the ai space hit the like button and subscribe